Welcome back to Creating a Life You Love with T. I'm T. We're creating a life we love together. Hope that I'm centered in this camera because you're backwards. We're doing an unboxing. That's the soap. I'm cooking. It's Friday. It's Friday. Now this says be strong and gorgeous. Joshua 1-9. Okay. Hope I'm centered in here right. We're going to pray that I am. Amen and amen again. Okay, so we just did an unboxing. Did y'all get that? Um, just a little apron that I had got for my nieces now. Let me see if you can see over this head and all this hair I got wrapped up. And I did it because I was going to do some Mara, um, what you call it, crafts with the children, my nieces and nephews. I'm tired. I'll be using my aprons. It's got the little pockets. The little baby hands can't go in there. But what do the, what the aprons say? This is my first apron with my business name. Mm. Mm, hey. Okay. Creating the life you love with tea. So this is my first little apron. This is so small, but honey, it's going to work. It's, it's going to work. We're about to work it out. I had made lunch. Um, I'm going to tell you what we got going on. I'm working. It's Friday. On break, I decide that I need to use what I got my healthy fats and stuff, food that I had got from the grocery store. Avocado is getting really, really ripe. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me make sure that y'all can see me and that this is really videoing. I'm coming. I'm coming, so just don't burn. Um, Let me make sure y'all right, because if I went through all this and then I didn't hit the record button or something, yeah, yeah, just hold on. Okay, we in there. We in there like swimming with. So y'all there. Hey y'all. Hey loves. Welcome back to another What's for Lunch Chronicle with T. So as I was saying, I was in there working. Work from home, praise God, bless it. And on my on um break this morning, it's like, what am I gonna eat? I'm trying to pre-prep my meals. We'll talk about that soon. I'm not going to do a full meal prep, but I'm going to do a couple days prep. So anyway, my avocados was about to go bad. I want to use those. I have some tomatoes and I have my boiled egg stove. I'm coming. Just don't burn. So I got a couple pieces of sway, sway fish from the freezer. Cleaned them. Put them in a the pan saute them i've been wanting some soup stuff because this cool weather i like soup stuff puts me in the field of and i was gonna put some shrimp and stuff in there. ain't nobody got time for that plus i don't want all that i just want some a fishy soup so instead of just sauteing it to grill it a little bit on the stove i wanted to do like a soup base with fish and instead of potatoes, I bring I got me some cauliflower. Y'all, I was gonna make me some cauliflower macaroni and cheese, low carb stuff, and uh, cauliflower potato salad. I did it before, and it was great when I was really on my keto journey and low carb. So I'm getting back. I'm coming, stove. I miss you too. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just don't burn. But anyway, I cut up. Um, I have another recipe in the bucket that I'm going to do for you guys. And it, it is pertaining to the squash. You know, we're in the fall, so squash is out there. So today, I kind of gut it out. Um, spaghetti squash. Cut it in half. Gut it out. No, y'all don't see them step by steps. I'm telling you what I did. I ain't had time for all that. I said it was on break when I decided to do it. So I'm just tell you. Verbally versus show you. 
cut them up, clean them, dice them, put some oil on them, and then some um, seasoning. Turn them upside down in a greased pan. Cooked it low. I changed the temperature a couple times. Okay. Just don't burn. Just don't burn. We got about 10 people. So it's been in the oven kind of baking and boiling. Um, so we're going in there and I was talking about my soup base for the fish. So I just got some spices and vegetable, some some vegetable spices and stuff, some better than bouillon soup base and some butter and some garlic and salt and pepper and some accent and a couple things with herbs in it. Put it in a pan, let the fourth uh, fish roll the two pieces on there really, really quick. Let them boil for about, I love boiling them to boil about 20 minutes because they were really, really hard and frozen. So, um, I'm going to do that, eat my spaghetti squash, throw a couple tomatoes on it. We're going to have lunch on an hour lunch. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And so that's what we're looking like in the oven. That's what y'all was hearing. Okay, I'm going to get it out. All right, so... I got this down so y'all could kind of see. Y'all know this is my first time doing this, right? I got my avocado oil. Hope you can see it. Put a little of that. My Kinder's blend salt and pepper. Got this from Sam's. Some Italian seasoning. And my... Trojan, how you pronounce it? Yeah, that. So, you can put whatever kind of seasoning you may like on here. I guess I better get this out the oven so I can stop beeping. What y'all think? Because I don't need it to burn. So, I did show you guys um, that this here is the spaghetti squash. Okay. Coming off the oven. No, y'all didn't see me cut it up. We're not doing that today. But this is how it looked before. Because I have a couple recipes I'll be doing. This is the spaghetti squash. All I did here was cut it up, as I told you, in half. Normally, I do it just in half. But I did it like this today. And... Pulled out all the seed stuff and okay, hold out all the seed stuff and told you I put my oil, the olive oil that I just showed you, the avocado oil. I'm trying to get y'all right. Hold on. got it just got it out the oven i think i baked it like 475 for a few minutes and then now uh, raw i changed it so changed it to all in all it cooked maybe 25 30 minutes and I punched holes in it. I did learn that part. That it's good to do that with a knife. Y'all know this real quick, right? You know how it go. It's my first cooking, cooking kind of video. Um. So. I'm just bringing y'all along on my routine. So, just hold on. You may hear a lot of banging. Hey, it's lunchtime. I'm on lunch. Y'all do all this on lunch. So, you see how tender it is? I don't know if you can see that steam. I wanted mine roasted and it's dripping. 
so glad I had that pan there. But it's dripping. And I'm like, what's the deal with spaghetti squash? I'm just putting it right here. Okay, can you see the steam? It's so delicious. I saw a recipe and I'm like, spaghetti squash? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I was looking for alternate alternatives for... Oh, before I put it over there, I just took a knife after I seasoned it, turned it upside down, all the pan, all the inside, and mixed the spices in. Cut it with slits there. Yeah, cut the slips in it and stuff. So it can... I don't know, huh? I guess the heat kind of comes through it so here we go see if i can zoom y'all in a little bit it won't let me do all that it said no it said no y'all so let me see what i could do because i do want y'all a little closer how is that it's a little bit better ain't it okay so I got my roasted spaghetti squash there. All I'm doing, and I'm running around getting this stuff. I had some stuff out, but I didn't know I was going to do this today on lunch. Make sure y'all still rolling. This is the kit. Y'all, this is how you do spaghetti squash. Look, it's hot. It's real, real hot. So I'm going to have my tongues here because I want y'all to see. Do you see? I'm like spaghetti squash. This is why they call it spaghetti squash. Because it looks like little spaghetti noodles. Okay. Can y'all see that? I really hope you can. It looks like just spaghetti. And it's so delicious. Because all I knew is I don't eat that. I don't eat that. But y'all. Look, it looked like somebody sliced it into little spaghetti pieces. So anyway, look, I'm trying to do them tongs. I'm going to do what I normally do, honey. So you just scrape it out. Scrape it out. After you roast it, it comes off so easy. Look, just like that. So, put that there. And how long I got on lunch? I clocked out at 1 o'clock. It's 1.29. Y'all see that? Probably upside down. It's 1.29, y'all. I ain't playing. So, this one, let me see if I can get it a little bit closer. Y'all see that? That is amazing. That's amazing. Okay. That's amazing. I just tripped out when I learned that the other year. I was like, I miss noodles. I'm a pasta chick. And I'm like, what is the alternative to making homemade keto noodles? And all that little dark stuff, I wanted it in there. Because it's roasted. Okay, so we can keep some of it on. Y'all notice a quick lunch. Now, can't see the camera time, so I have to bend down and make sure the camera's still rolling. How long? Okay. Lord, don't bless me so, honey. Somebody can help me so I know how to edit properly. So I'm going to have to always use my phone. Anybody out there want to help me with edit, editing my videos? Got to learn how to do it on the computer. But for now, this way is it. This, this, this way is it. This is what we're going to do. Mm, that's good. So... Oh, that's real good. You could do whatever you want to do. This is yours. This is yours. You can put baking bits on it. 
that flavor is really, really on point right there. But like if I was craving um, like pasta salad, baby, I'm going to always have some good Italian dressing. <clears throat> you want it twangy, which I kind of do sometimes. We're going to do that. Okay. Now I got caught back in. Gotta be done with this here in a few. And I had had my avocados and stuff. This is what I was gonna have for breakfast. But I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it like this with some spaghetti squash. Because I really wouldn't. I wanted some breakfast. I did, but I didn't. So I, I like for my stuff to be looking pretty when I can. Amen. Just saying. Okay. So we got that. And uh, it's just regular Roma tomatoes that I had cut up. And let's see. My avocado trying to turn. I don't appreciate that. Particular baby, she will turn brown on you in a heartbeat. We'll just do a couple little slices on there, like that. Uh, nothing all super fancy, but when I have a moment. I just like for my food to look good and pretty. Okay. So, I told y'all that I sauteed my... So, this is what we're looking like. Spaghetti squash. And then we having a low-carb pasta meal. Real quick on the easy. So, now as I mentioned, I was thinking about doing like fish soup type, because I had boiled this, it's getting kind of cold now, I decided on break this morning, I'm like, I want fish, so I was going to make it into like a um, soup type, but honey, here we go, I boiled it. Put it in my little stuff and um, just sprinkle a little bit of the juice on there. There's no measurements. This is all I used. Some Montreal steak seasoning. A little bit of that. About two about a good tablespoon of butter, real butter, lemon pepper on that fish, a little bit of Italian seasoning, this, that's it. So this is what we're eating. Let me see if it'll allow me to take a picture. <sighs> I'm tired, honey, it's lunchtime. at lunch okay so this is what we're looking like what you call this spaghetti squash now i guess that can be the veggies well that's spaghetti squash is a veggie too but um let me get a picture but spaghetti squash we got fish avocado and that let's see y'all do you see how this look like spaghetti I'm just saying. So, it's time to eat. So, we're going to go outside and taste it. 
here's what we're looking like. Ta-da!